This is my 2ZZ Swap MR2 Spider. This is the SC14 Supercharger that I mounted to it about a month ago using my fully custom laser cut mounts. These are the eBay 2ZZ Swap headers that used to be on the car. That definitely will not fit anymore. This is the 3D model I designed using an iPhone and a free modeling software called Fusion 360 for a custom header to solve this fitment issue. Today I'm turning my 3D model into a reality, starting with just some bent tubes and my Harbor Freight TIG welder. So will my iPhone engineering actually work and will my custom header actually fit into my MR2 engine bay? We're gonna find out. <laughs> So I've never attempted to build something quite this intricate. The exhaust on the LS swapped RX-8 comes close, but that was more of a measure once, cut twice type of deal. But for this project, I laid everything out in CAD with the 3D model. That way I could have my measurements laid right out in front of me and I would have all those measurements right from the get-go. That being said, we can go ahead and jump right into this and start measuring and cutting. Hopefully once. Right now we are measuring out some lengths. So the initial lengths from the flange I have drawn out here. So this next part, when I start dealing with some angles, could get a little bit tricky. So what I'm gonna lay out now is the angle between the two bends of each of my runners. I have each of these individually laid out and measured in my computer. That way all I have to do is get that angle right and I can transfer them right onto my pieces. My first angle is 144 degrees. I'm gonna use this protractor to make that marking. That way I can orient them together how they need to go. So now I'm gonna double check my one janky way of measuring that angle. Uh, with another janky way of measuring the angle. Remember, I am checking this plane to the plane of this bed. What I'm looking for is whenever this is flat on the table, I want this plane here to be at 36 degrees. Once those were all set, I could tack up all four runners, check the angles one more time, and get straight to welding. I set up my back purge and welded each one separately to ensure easy access to the full weld, rather than waiting till after assembly. The next step was to fit up the tubes to the flange at the correct angle based on my drawings. You can see I had my digital angle finder laid out to help with this, and once I felt the angle was set correctly, I moved right into welding. These fillet welds are absolutely my favorite to do, and I was getting some beautiful color out of them. Super happy with how they turned out. So I just kept welding the runners in at their correct angles and finally got down to the last piece. And once I got that in, this thing started looking very familiar. But as you can tell from my model, I left out a pretty important component, the merge collector. I decided that once I got to this point, I would just finish it off with some pie cuts connecting the runners to the collector. So that's exactly what I did. I started laying out the pie cuts and welding them up until I got to something that looks like this. All right guys, here is the finished header. Now it's for the moment of truth, will it fit in the car? But first, I wanna refresh your memory on why I built this new header in the first place. So this is the original 2ZZ swap header that I had on it. This header will no longer fit with my big old supercharger in here. As you can see, we're hitting down here and up top we're still about three inches away from the head. So that one is no bueno. So that is why I had to build this pretty thing. And we are gonna find out if my iPhone engineering actually worked. We're gonna see if it all worked out. What do you think, do you wanna start it? You want to? I think so, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Stealing this back.
All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Like, comment, subscribe, and look out for more cool stuff in the garage. See you guys later.